as we all know, PD time is two years. Um, in the first year, I did the Stanford Biodesign Innovation Fellowship, which is a 10-month-long program. Um, and then as a springboard from the last month of that fellowship, I did what they call an externship at Intuitive um, down in Sunnyvale. And as a result of that, was able to extend the position there for the next year. So currently in my second of two years of PD time, I'm working with Intuitive's Future Forward division, um, which I think of as a incubator within the larger company. So personally, I'm working on early product development and a little bit of landscaping and scoping out new opportunities for the company. The way the Biodesign Innovation Fellowship works is you are grouped into multidisciplinary teams of four people. And throughout the program, you learn the innovation process within medical technology. And so you start with immersing yourself in the clinical area, observing like clinicians at their work, um, even ancillary staff, everyone in the ecosystem really, um, to find problems that you think are good to solve, <laughs> which sounds sounds easy, but it's actually quite hard. Um, lots of subtleties there. And then in the winter, you spend a lot of time brainstorming, coming up with ideas, coming up with solutions and prototyping those. And then more in the winter, you transition to a phase where you're thinking through how you bring that solution to fruition. So things like marketing strategy, what would your business plan be, what kind of reimbursement pathway should it take, um, you know, does it need FDA to weigh in on regulation and, and things like that. So um, by the end of the program, I think you have a much better understanding of that entire medical innovation process, um, but it, is, it goes by really quickly. <laughs> In undergrad, I always thought I'd, I'd be an engineer, actually. Um, and as part of our senior capstone project, we basically go through the biodesign course, but in a very simple, more watered down um, type of way. Um, and I always thought that was a really cool way to, to use the creative side of my brain. Um, I think in everyday clinical care, you, it's it's not the right venue <laughs> for creativity sometimes. You know, there is a standard of care we want to provide the best care for our patients, but I think marrying that with technology development and innovation um, really lets us utilize that creative side of our brain um, that we don't always get to use um, when we're really clinical. For the Biodesign Fellowship year, I was fortunate enough that um, the Department of Surgery was able to support part of that. Um, so Biodesign itself pays a stipend to its fellows, um, but the Department of Surgery had a fund where they paid the difference to to make it like a PGY3 salary. Um, and I kept my health insurance with that relationship with Stanford. Um, but for this second year where I'm working, you know, full time with Intuitive, um, the funding is completely coming completely from Intuitive. So I'm paid as a salaried employee at the company. Um, and that I obtained through um, that last month of biodesign externship, um, was able to discuss this plan with uh, my manager at Intuitive. And thankfully they had the budget to accommodate this position. So um, yeah, that's, that's how this uh, second year is being funded for me. The one-to-one -one patient care really helps me stay grounded. Um, and, you know, during these um, PD years, we do get the opportunity to moonlight. And so I did that for myself also to stay clinically connected and found that, you know, on those rare, rare occasions where I do get to operate on those shifts, I really still enjoy it a lot. Um, and I do miss it. So I'm looking forward to coming back. Um, definitely, I think it'll be a, a, an adjustment in schedule. Um, it's quite different working sort of the corporate schedule versus a resident uh, schedule. But um, I'm looking forward to, to getting back to um, surgery time. I think through the Biodesign Fellowship, I realized that there are actually a lot more different opportunities um, than I had realized. Uh, for someone with a surgical training, um, someone who wants to practice clinically, but also make an impact 
on patient lives in other ways. Um, so I think I'm still figuring out, but lots of different mentors here um, in, at Stanford and, you know, within Silicon Valley to, to help me um, make some of those decisions. To the junior residents, it, it does feel very stressful figuring all this stuff out, especially while you're in clinical time, you know, as an intern and a, especially as a second year. Um, but things have a way of working out. Um, and we have such a rich variety of resources um, at Stanford that um, I think they're they're in good hands. <laughs>